Welcome to our lecture online. There's nothing like a good example to show you how this transformation matrix works. How do we transform a vector that's defined in the xy coordinate system in two dimensions and transform it to the r prime vector, the same vector but now in reference to the x prime y prime coordinate system which is being rotated to an angle phi. And let's say that the angle phi is equal to 30 degrees and we've defined our r vector as being 4 x in the x direction and 3 in the y direction. So here's our x component and y component of our original vector. We, we turn our or we rotate our x y coordinate system by 30 degrees into a new x prime y prime coordinate system and now we need to come up with the new vector, let's call it our prime vector, and here's the transformation matrix. In other words, we're going to find the x and y components of our new vector. And so we can say that the R X prime, R Y prime components is going to be equal to the transformation. So here we have the cosine of 30 degrees, the cosine of 30 degrees, and here we have the sine of 30 degrees, negative sine of 30 degrees, and the cosine of 30 degrees multiplied times the components of the original vector, the x and y components, which would be 4 and 3. All right, now we can change this. We can say this is equal to the cosine of 30 degrees is 0 0.866. The sine of 30 is 1 half. This negative 1 half over here. And here we have 0 0.866 multiplied times 4 and 3. Okay, now and let's plug that in here, r prime x, r prime y. So first with the r prime x, r prime x is equal to, this is going to be 0.866 times 4, we probably want to have a calculator for that, 0.866 times 4 equals, that's 3.46, so we get 3.46, and then plus 3 times 0.5, that would be plus 1.5, and so that would be equal to 3.96. So that would be the length of the x component, and of course this is sub x, there we go, the x component of the r vector in the new coordinate system. And now the r prime y is equal to, and so here we have 4 times negative 0.5, that would be negative 2.0, plus and so we have 3 times 0 0.866, 0 0.866 times 3, which is 2.60, 2.60 minus 2, that would be 0 0.60. And so here we have the x and the y components of our new vector. Now take a, take a look and see if that visually makes sense. Notice that the x component, well, that's going to be larger than before because now we have a smaller angle between there. So uh, 3.96, well, let's see here, is that correct? Oh, no, 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 that's not 3.96, that's 4.96. 4 point, because 3 plus 1 is 4, yeah, 4.96, good thing that I checked, because we know that if it's projected onto the x-axis, it's a bigger angle, so that's a smaller component. Projected onto the x-prime axis, it's a smaller angle, we expect a bigger component, and, hmm, 4.96. Yes, that makes sense. And so that would make sense. And now the y component, notice we have a much smaller component here. And so 0.6 would make sense as well. And let's define now our new vector. R prime is now equal to R prime in the x direction in x prime plus R prime in the y direction y prime, so now it's relative to the new axis, and so we could say that r prime vector is equal to 4.96 in the unit vector in the new x direction plus 0.60 y unit vector in the y direction, and there's our new vector relative to the new coordinate system rather than the old vector in the old coordinate system. So here's the old vector in the x-y coordinate system, here's the new vector in the x-prime, y-prime coordinate system. And that is how it's done.